Hello everyone. Hello, hello. Good morning to everyone. Welcome to the live section of our um, second edition of our lesson for the eight-week course. No, uh, I'm trying to open my uh, PowerPoint, pero unahin ko lang kayong i-greet, no? Para sa mga labang tahimik natin at mag-isa nating napanalo, sulong lang po. We are all on this together and wherever you are, I hope that you are safe. I hope that you are okay at um, laban lang, laban lang kumbaga sa um, sa ating mga pinaglalaban, no? <laughs> so, you know, um, it's not an easy situation uh, kung nasa naman kayo sa mundo, either in uh, Dubai or, you know, uh, yeah, welcome to Sir to Miss Jen from UAE. Welcome po, uh, Sir Romulo Bartolome. Welcome, welcome. Um, Sir Jack, unang-una, very good. Sir uh, Mas Mary Ann, uh, ex no reply, gandang labor coach, thank you. Uh, Mike Kenzie, thank you. Rule Survival, thank you, thank you. Um, Coke, uh, hello coach, hello Dan Kung Cage, thank you. Uh, coach Raccoon, late na po. Sorry po. <laughs> Gumawa po, po tayo ng isang video at nag medyo kailangan po nating ihabol. Gumawa po tayo ng another video, i-upload ko po yan. Karamihan po sa ating mga subscribers ay naka, um, is naka mobile phone. So gumawa tayo ng video to help people how to uh, program your phones para makapag-trade kayo. No? How can you easily see your your uh, trades sa telepono using your mobile app. So it's gonna be a very, very useful information for you. Okay? So just wait for that. And then, Sharina, sorry. Thank you, sorry. I'm so late. Thanks for waiting. Um, Ryan, thanks for waiting. Baka may ginagawa pa. Yes, tinapos lang natin yung kaninang video. Sorry about that. And then, yes, Nate, thanks for joining. Thanks for waiting. Um, AGY, you know, I'm just greeting all of you guys, no? Uh, habang inag-open ako ng PowerPoint as we speak. Um, Sports and Action TV. Wow. Wow. Thank you. Laban. Yes. Reniel, thank you. Thank you. John G. Kaka-start lang. Yes, sir. CGR. CGJR TV. Uh, new subscriber lang. Welcome. Welcome. Daddy A. New, it's learning time. New, newbie. Thank you. Makhael, hey, kamusta? Thank you for being a uh, avid subscriber. Thanks also for commenting. Thank you, thank you. Uh, thanks for everyone. Let me just open my screen. No, wait lang tayo. Happens when you have so many uh, videos available and you really wanted to show many things. No? Kamusta naman ang inyong XRP? Kam uh, kamusta naman ang inyong mga doggy trades? Pakicomment, kamusta? Kumita ba kayo? Did you win? Mga Halmachi fans dyan, mag-high naman, Halmachi fans, mga scalpers natin. Well, uh, and then, pag kayo taga-discord, say hi. Uh, pag taga-discord, say hi lang. Hello, hello. Sa ating mga... Uh, okay, let's just wait for this to open. Thank you, Sharina, Mr. Cruz. Just for, give me a couple of more minutes. I'm trying to open my file. Okay. Ayan, hi, hello, yes. No? So, pakipasa po ang ating, uh, ang ating uh, invite link sa inyong mga friends uh, and loved ones. No? Lahat ng ating PowerPoint presentation. Kaya, ino-open lang natin before we start. This is one of the greatest topics na gustong ko sa kong ituro no? sa ating 8-week learning session. And by the way, pagkatapos ng 1-week learning session natin, meron tayong uh, tinatawag na uh, uh, live charting pagkatapos nito. No? I will be walking you through and live action, question and answer sa mga live charting requests ninyo. So, question lang kayo. Ano yung mga gusto nyo ipachart? Comment down below para ma-chart natin para you know where to enter and when to exit. And we will also tackle lang mabilis yung ating tinatawag na um, futures, no? futures charting. So, may tanong lang kayo, please. Um, go ahead and uh, leave sa leave sa inyo ating uh, comment section and we could answer some of those questions uh, later on sa ating live. No? So, we're up to 33 now. Uh, I'm still waiting for some more to join. 
Ayan, okay. Welcome. So, panalo XRP ko kagabi. Spot lang gained $18. Yes, pwede na, no? Pang ano na yan? Pang Starbucks na job. Good job. May GC po ba? Pa-join naman po. Thank you. Uh, we will put the Discord link maya-maya. Uh, we will allow that, no? Kung meron tayong admin dito, paki paki share na lang, uh, Sir Jojo, Sir uh, Boss. By the way, uh, meron tayong birthday boy. Ibigit ko siya mamaya sa ating uh, slide, no? Uh, Paki-send uh, na lang po kung merong member ng Discord. Pakilagay po sa ating live chat ang ating uh, live video sa ating Discord para maka-join po yung ibang mga hindi pa members ng Discord community natin. Okay? All right. So, uh, we will now start with our session for today. Uh, our topic for today, if you are here, our topic is uh, about all about market psychology. No? So, we covered last week ang market crypto market basics. Uh, but before we start, no disclaimer lang, the information that you will receive um, will be used uh, um, on your own volition. No? You got this information for free and it's only for educational purposes. Okay? You, you need to know that investing on cryptocurrency involves a great deal of risk. So you need to make sure that you're not losing, uh, you, have, you have a potential to lose all of your, um, or, or a portion of your investment. So plus emotional stress. So you need to make sure you learn first before kayo magpumasok sa cryptocurrency trading, okay? You understand that you are responsible for all the risks that you will uh, that you will encounter on this particular uh, investment. So make sure that you understand, no? And of course, I am trying to simplify all the information available from YouTube, from web, you know, available na lahat yan, but I'm trying my best to make it simple for you para maunawaan ninyo, no? Uh, and, and of course, I do not own the artwork here. Some of them I got lang sa website. And it's my mission po to naturuan kayo because five years ago, I was also a trader and ang dami kong natalong pera, no? Uh, sa stock market. And all of that, I learned by myself. So kailangan, uh, may turo ko yun sa inyo para hindi na kayo dumaan sa napakaraming uh, talo sa, sa stock market or sa cryptocurrency. Okay? And that's my mission for today. Okay. So, um, all right, what will you learn on this course? This is a very, very exciting course. No? This is a crypto market basic. And uh, we will be doing market psychology. Bakit market psychology? Bakit kailangan bang malaman ng psychology? No? Kasi hindi lang pwedeng puro kayo technical analysis, hindi lang kayo pwedeng fundamental analysis. Kailangan alam nyo din yung sarili ninyo. Because sabi nga nila, we are our own worst enemy. Tinuro na ni coach, tinuro niya na mag-indicator, eh, atat na atat ka magbenta, binenta mo na agad, design yung profit mo. Tinuro na ni coach na mag-exit na pag bumaba si MACD line, eh ayaw makulit ka, gusto mong greedy ka, gusto mong kumita ng kumita, eh, tapos biglang bumaba, eh, nalusaw yung profit mo. ba? So, um, alright, so before we start, happy birthday sa ating uh, admin sa Discord channel. Happy birthday, boss said. Happy 18th birthday. Sabi ko nga, men like us, no, tulad ko bilang tatay, no, uh, the older we get, you know, the better we are. We are like wine, no, we're not vinegars, no. Happy birthday, and I hope you enjoy our small gift to you, uh, jan sa bahay mo, and uh, congratulations for another year. And cheers, more, more, more uh, partnership and uh, support to come. So thank you, po. happy birthday. Okay. Alright, before I forget, uh, uh, meron po tayong futures walkthrough, meron tayong live na recording sa futures, ginawa na po natin yan. Punta po kayo sa aking sub uh, web sa aking YouTube page, subscribe po, like. Meron po tayong live uh, charting, ng, live charting, live ordering ng futures, okay? Meron na po tayo yan, if you wanted to. Uh, meron na po tayong available na live charting for scalping. Meron na rin ta marami na po tayong videos na available today that you could use no for you to be aware kung ano-ano ba yung mga available nating um, courses no so for example uh, courses or live no for example meron tayong uh, you yeah, know how to compute your profit meron tayong gumawa uh, we made a video on that for example how to use price action meron tayong ginawa for that how to use scalping using the CCI um, Alma 22 and point, uh, sorry, Alma 0.8 and 8, EMA 9, and CCI negative 100 and 3. Tinuro ko na yan sa aking scalping, uh, scalping uh, live, no? 
Tinuro ko din ano ba yung paano ba malalaman are you a swing trader, are you a position trader? Meron na tayong video on that. Yung live trading natin for futures ito sa how to trade Binance futures using a buy long um uh, strategy kasi I I nag-walk through tayo ng um uh, ng futures trading, meron na tayong available na ganyan. Um using a buy long strategy, isolated um isolated uh, 10x no, nagmuwa na tayo ng ganyang video. And then when you wanted to know how to deposit or how to buy NFT or token sa isang decentralized exchange like PancakeSwap from, from your trust wallet, available na rin yan. If you wanted to know um, how to do Binance staking, available na rin yan sa aking isang, is one of my videos. right? How to execute a basic buy order and a sell order, available na din yan sa available. And pinaka-importante, ano, ano, ano yung mga top 10 errors? na ginagawa ng isang uh, beginner, kailangan yung mabasa to, no? 10 uh, mistakes that you keep on doing and you need to know para hindi nyo nagawin. No? And we made so many videos for you and thank you, by the way, thank you sa inyo lahat. Uh, wala pa tayong 2 weeks, no? we already have almost 3,000 subscribers. So I'm happy kasi marami tayo natutulungan uh, and we focus on learning. We focus on teaching no? and that's for free. I will continue to do videos for you. Tanong lang kayo, give your comments. You no, know, I look at the comment section. Doon ko kinukuha yung mga ideas ko. Where to get more videos? What what videos to do? And isa sa mga videos na na ginawa ko kanina, uh, is suggestion ng uh, Discord community kasi apparently 68% na nasa Discord community ang gamit lang nila phones to trade, no? So gumawa na tayo diyan. Abangan niyo lang. We will we will publish it tomorrow. Very very exciting. Paano i-program yung charts ninyo para makita nyo siya ng maayos, mas malaki? Ano yung mga kailangan nyo gawin? Ano yung kailangan tanggalin sa chart para hindi magulo? Right? And so on and so forth. So, you will have all of that. And uh, stick, stick around lang kayo and I'm gonna be here to teach you everything that you need to know in a cryptocurrency world. Okay? Alright. So, <coughs> alright. Let's go now to ano ba ang life ng crypto trader? Ano ba tingin nyo? Type nyo nga sa comment box. Ano ba ang tingin nyo? Ano ba ang buhay ng crypto trader? Right? Isa ba yung uh, napakaganda ba niyan? Uh, type nyo nga yung obs ano ba, observation ninyo. What do you feel? Ano ba yung tingin nyo bilang crypto trader? High tech ba to? Kailangan ba accountant ka? No, type nyo lang sa comment section. No? And overall, you know, pwede naman kasing bigyan kayo ni crypto trader ng isang buhay that could help you um uh, replace your employment income. No? Pwede niyang i-replace. Meron akong ganyang ginawang uh, Facebook post. Nagawa natin 17,000 pesos earnings. Profit na to ha? In 5 days. Nagawa natin yan. I will show that to you later on. Sobrang kaya mong gawin yan basta alam mo lang. No? And 17,000 in 4 weeks, magkano yun? Almost umaabot ng 60,000. Diba? Kaysa naman pagod-pagod ka sa labas, nagahanap ka ng work. Diba? But you know, it, you know, it it is something that can help you become profitable lalo kung alam mo. At pag galing ka sa stock market at papunta ka sa crypto, mas magiging exciting para sa iyo sinasabi ko. Sinasabi ko na ngayon. Because sa cryptocurrency, sa Binance, merong derivatives, merong futures. Sa sa stock market kasi or sa spot market sa Binance, you only earn one one way kapag tumaas yung stock Diba? Pero sa futures, you could earn pag tumaas yung stock by buying long and you could earn uh, uh, pag bumaba yung stock by selling short. Diba? So pag marunong ka ng ganun, I'm telling you, chicken lang sa'yo, you could double your money in one week. Ako po, pinalago ko lang yung $100 ko sa futures. Ngayon, $240 na siya in one week. No, I, I tried to do futures trading. No, inadnilaro ko siya and and uh, because I need to teach that, no. I've been doing futures for quite some time and you know, bilang uh, mentor ninyo, I need to make sure ituro ko sa inyo yung tama, no? So you could look that on my video. So ganun, it's it's a very good successful um uh you know, uh potential income potential for you. Pero tatandaan nyo, laging may risk. Laging may risk lalo na kung di mo alam. Okay? Pero imagine nyo, you're financially free, para kayong si Akio ng money growers, right? Income, small trade, 200,000, right? Unless now it's a bearish market, right? It's it's easy 
madali siya, but you need to make sure you protect yourself. Right? Now, sabi nga nila, crypto trading can be your key to wealth. No, There are two ways to be a successful crypto person. No? Yung dalawang lalaki na nakikita nyo, they are the... Uh, they are the one of the founders ng uh, ating cryptocurrency coins, no? Um, one of the cryptocurrency, uh, Litecoin or Freecoin, I forget. But they are the founders. And there are two ways for you to be really rich. Either you put your own coin, pwede na po yan. Merong uh, tuturo ko sa inyo kung paano, mabilis lang. Put your own coin, ipahype ninyo, then benta. <laughs> diba? Pero kailangan nyo muna ng awareness. Kailangan nyo ng programming knowledge on solidity solidity is the programming language of ethereum okay and then um kailangan alam niyo yung uh, ethereum 1 no that's the network or the platform of ethereum para you could you guys could create a smart contract no you guys could create your smart contract for a token they deploy niyo lang mag hype kayo mag hire kayo ng pr firm kikita na kayo di ba pero kung hindi niyo pa alam ang solidity Right? Ninyo pa alam ang solidity, then uh, we're gonna be here to teach you how to do crypto trading instead. Okay? Alright, let's move on. Okay, so you need to remember that 90% of the people worldwide are investing sa crypto market or stock market and they fail to make a single centavo. Many aspire but only few succeed. Why? Because, number one, they enter the market without any knowledge. Sila yung mga nasa Facebook. Uh, Bato-bato sa langit po, tamaan, huwag po magalit, no? Dahil moderator po ako ng dalawang malalaking uh, Facebook groups, Binance Filipino Trader Tagalog and Binance Filipino Community. Uh, total of almost 50,000 members po yan, dalawang yan. Ang mga questions po na nakikita ko dyan is either, number one, saan po ba pwede mag-invest? Saan po ba pwedeng mag-invest, boss, coach, master, lords, idol, right? And I always get that question. Lagi, laging ganun po. And that's not how you enter this crypto market, no? Tatapatin ko na kayo, you need to learn. And free lang ang learning. Go to, my, go to my page, go to the other people's page. Absorb so many things. Kasi pera nyo yun. Kung baga, naglagay kayo ng tindahan ng banana queue sa labas, nag-invest kayo ng 5,000 pesos. Di ba, syempre, inaaral nyo rin paano magluto ng banana queue. Inaaral nyo rin yung market. Inaaral nyo rin magkano yung pepresyo nyo sa banana queue. Ganon din po sa cryptocurrency. You need to make sure na ang inyong pera is protektado. Hindi lang kayo dahil sinabi ng isang coach, isang guru, isang something. Huwag kayo mag-realize sa kanila because pag bumagsak yung pera nyo, I mean, your guru would not always be there. ba? You need to learn and, and that's your money. That's your hard-earned money. Right? You need to make sure you enter the market with knowledge. No? Kasi merong risk management. By the way, ang next topic natin sa third week, risk management. Ano yung tinatawag natin, you know, value at risk, position sizing, rule of three. May mga ganyan tayo, probability rule. Tuturo ko din lahat siya, no? kaya nga konti-konti lang, inuunti-unti ko. No? So, you need to make sure that you understand na hindi ganun kadali yung market. And, and sometimes if you're very, very, very emotional or you're too proud, you're too proud to accept that you're wrong, then this is not the market for you. Alam mo ba si Miss Market, si Miss Crypto Market? Walang pakailam sa'yo yan. They, she doesn't care what you feel. Pag gusto niya bumaba yung price niya, bakit bababa siya. She doesn't care what you feel. Kung gusto mong tumaas siya, then they, she sh sometimes crypto market is very indifferent. ba? So you need to make sure meron kang alam na strategy. Tinuro ko na yan sa mga studyante ko na una na, ano yung Halmachi negative 100 strategy. Ano yung parabolic play? Ano yung MACD bearish signal? Ano yung, ano yung mga yun, di ba? You have, need to have the strategy. Ano yung cup and handle? Ano yung bo, to, uh, uh, bot, uh, double bottom, double top strategy? Di ba? You need to have a strategy that will work for you. Huwag ka pong papasok sa stock market na hindi mo alam or sa crypto market, okay? Say yes po sa comment pag nag agree Okay? All right. Question, is the crypto market against you? No? Of course, it's not always going to agree with you. No, The market doesn't care what you think about the price. It would do what it always wants to do. Iniisip mo, ako ang tama, the market is wrong. Iniisip mo, I will not realize my losses. Iniisip mo, I will wait for the stock price to go up. I will take my, gain, my gains ASAP. FOMO, fear of 
missing out. Oh my God, maraming ganyan. Pero sinasabi ni market sa'yo, ah, teka lang, I don't care who you are. It's up, it is not up to you. Okay lang, pero mag-antay ka. O sige, sure, I will allow you. Okay, sorry, but you could ride next time. di ba? Si XRP, pumalo ng ano, from, um, di ba, galing siya sa point, actually, point 2 lang yan eh. Point 2, naging point 7, point 9, naging 1.2, naging 1.4, pumalo pa ng 2. di ba? $2. Itong si Doge, galing sa point 0.9, galing sa, you know, pa, ngayon, point 0.36 na yata si Doge. Diba? Na-iwan ka. Eh, hindi mo kasi alam paano pumasok. Diba? How do you avoid that? Diba? So, you need to make sure, no, na alam mo yung mga ganyang bagay. You need to be very careful. No? Pwede kang malusaw. Tama. And this is the market. Ito, ito alamin nyo to guys, this is very, very important, no? Ang, ang stock laging ganito, bawat ang andar ng stock merong market feeling yan. No? Pagpataas ang stock, ang sinasabi ng tao, ah, oh, optimism, ah, tumaas si Doge, excited, boom. Tumaas pa lalo si Doge, thrill, wow. Tapos, sobrang nag-hit mo yung pinakamataas. Si Doge naging 0.49, wow. ba You told yourself, I am so smart. ba And now it went down. You have anxiety. ba? Parang sa mga psychology graduate, dabda. You know, what are the five stages of grief? No? Denial, anger, bargaining, depression, acceptance. No? Ganon din si market. Meron siyang anxiety. Bumaba na. O, naging point four, na, naging point three si, ano, si, si Doge. Oh my God. Hindi, hindi totoo yan. Diba? Naging point twenty five. Naku, natakot na. Tapos naging point nine, point nineteen, ako desperado ka na. Tapos mas bumaba pa siya dun sa entry price mo. Ako nagpanik ka na. Nag market capitulation na. Ako pa, patay na. Ako wala nang pera. Nalusaw na. Nalusaw na yung pera. No? And then uulit-ulit yan. After depression, pag tumaas, hope ulit. Hope, relief, optimism, pataas ulit. Excitement, thrill, euphoria. Ganun lang po ang market. You know? And there are two types of major major sentiment. It's greed or fear, no? Greed po, kapag pataas yung stock price or crypto price, you want to be greedy, kailangan malaki-malaki yung profit mo. Ang masasabi ko lang sa'yo, profit is profit. Pag kumita ka na, sell on tranches. Meron kang 1,000 USDT, kumita ka na, benta mo yung 500. Kaya mo lang yung 500 dyan, benta mo yung 200. Huwag mong, huwag mong iwanan lahat. Sayang yung profit. ba? Pang scalping mo din yun. Right? pang sa tuition fee. O, di ba? So, guys, I'm just very passionate kasi maraming nakikita ko nalulusaw eh. Maraming nalulusaw, nakakainis na parang, ano ba to? Parang, you know, you, you really wanted to teach them how to manage their risk. Pero, they will go to you, boss, natalo. They're, sometimes, they're even proud to, to put sa social media. Sino dito yung nalusaw? O, raise your hand, comment, comment. Ay, nako, Lord. Hindi po tayo ganun. We, we're not supposed to be like that. No? You know, we need to make sure we manage our own risk, right? And and we need to make, may paraan po yan, and I could show it to you after this session, okay? Alright. Okay, you need to also know, ano ba ang wake off market cycle theory, okay? Example natin si Doge, alright? Doge. Si Doge is a meme, it's a meme, right? It is parang joke. Joke lang yan years ago, right? Sabi nila, eh, bahala ka Doge, whatever. Okay? Pero the people don't know that some people are already accumulating the coin. Okay? That's the market accumulation. Alright? Kapag onti-onti na siyang in like Mark Cuban came into the picture, right? Tesla or, uh, you know, Elon Musk came into the picture. Elon Musk came with his own coin, by the way. Uh, it's, uh, uh, by the way. So, yun, yan na yung markup. Tumataas na yung price. And then, when you say distribution, ito na yung people are aware, parang si ano yan, si, uh, sa local stock market, si Dito. ba? People don't know, nagkaroon na pala ng third telco. ba? When it's already advertised, people started to put up their money dun, tumaas na nang tumaas nang tumaas yung price. And then, it would always go down. Yung tinatawag tayong distribution, kapag mapakarami ng tao na, na gustong sumali dun sa particular stock or crypto, there's always a markdown kung saan ang price ng stock because 
people already earn. Okay? Galing sa baba, nakabili ng doggy 0.1. Okay? Or 0.0001. 1 million units. Nagbenta sa taas ng 0.31. Bilyonaryo na yun. Bababa na yan. People are selling na. Di ba? So that's the wake of market cycle theory. When you look at the stock, of example natin, let's go to BTT. Let's go to BTT. Uh, let's go to uh, Bake. Okay? Okay, what do you notice sa Bake? Alright? <laughs> Kakastart lang ni Bake, right? Yan. Kakastart lang niya. Right? And it's now starting to uh, accumulate. Right? That is the market cycle theory. Alright? Let's move on. Ano ang first investment strategy? Okay? The first investment strategy is knowing yourself. Okay? If you don't know yourself, hindi mo kilala yung sarili mo. For example, estudyante ka. Right? Or let's say 19 years old ka, 20 years old ka. Or let's say 45 years old ka na, no? You're already a very good executive. You just want a passive income. Right? You need to know yourself. Ano, yan ang pinaka-unang-unang pinaka investment strategy. And if you ask me, Boss, ano bang magandang investment strategy? Ano bang magandang investment coin? Ang sagot ko sa inyo, you need to know yourself first. Okay? Bakit? Pag sinabi ko kasi na gumamit kayo ng ganitong strategy, bakit ako sa inyo ha? If I tell you to use a strategy, mag-open ako ng isa pang uh, uh, website, antayin natin. No? Let's open investagrams.com. Okay, balik tayo later dyan. Nag-open siya mag-isa. Ang dami ko na kasing available na indicators. Meron akong iba-iba. Meron akong EMA5. Meron akong uh, day trading strategy. Meron akong trading uh, uh, strategy. Meron akong scalping strategy. Meron akong um, RSI parabolic play strategy. Marami na po akong strategy. Ilalagay ko lang po sa chart yan. Mag-iisa po maglo-load mag-isa yan. Okay. Pero ang problema po kasi, kapag hindi nyo, pag, pag ang style po ninyo is hindi po kayo, hindi po kayo katulad ko na ako is, uh, let's say, may pagka medium term, short term trader ako minsan, pero minsan I do scalping. Um, pero, in, pero investor mode pala kayo. And you, you should not use the, ano, the, the techniques that I'm teaching. You should not use that. Right? You should use your own specific trade. So for example, pakita ko sa inyo ngayon. Lakihan natin. Nakikita po ninyo sa aking screen, ang dami ko ng templates. I have a 5 EMA 14 RSI 1 minute interval scalping strategy. I have a 5 EMA 30 RSI 15 minute scalping strategy. I have an Almachi strategy. I have an alignment of the stars EMA red winner strategy. Ang, ang AOTS ko, that's only moving averages. Meron din akong BB50.2 RSI 30 strategy and I have a day trading strategy. Pag kinilig ko si AOTS EMA strategy, lalabas yung tatlong stars. Ayan yung tatlong uh, EMA ko, 20, 50, 100. I do all of that, right? Pero pag, pag ang strategy mo isa lang, tapos bearish yung market, talo ka na. Kailangan meron ang strategy for scalping, you have a strategy for Let's say day trading, no? Dapat meron ka mga ganyang strategy, right? I only use EMA and RSI. So, if, if, you're, if you're a strategist, you wanted to learn, you need to make sure alam mo muna ang sarili mo. You need to make sure na you know yourself, right? And there are three major questions that you need to learn kung ano ba ang, ano ba ang tatlong question that you need to ask yourself. And you need to make sure you take, take, take note, ha? Take, take this down. Okay, number one, you need to make sure you know if your risk tolerance, are you a risk-averse person or are you, you're a risk-taker person? Unang-una, kapag risk-averse ka, hindi ka dapat sa cryptocurrency. Okay? Meaning, ayaw mo ng risk, ayaw mo ng tatalo. Right? Ayaw mo ng lumilipad yung presyo ng interest, ayaw mo ng negative 10%. Ayaw mo na makakita ng negative 50%. Ayaw mo ng ganun. That's, that's being risk-averse. Okay? 
And then, uh, personality, are you a passive or are you an aggressive person? Right? You need to ask yourself, from scale of 1 to 5, am I a very aggressive person? Am I a risk taker? No? Time frame, are you a short-term trader or are you a long-term trader? Okay? So, kapag nasagot mo na yung mga yan, I will tell you anong klaseng trader ka. Okay? So, using this graph, okay, you need to <coughs> you need to take this down, no? Kasi iba-iba po ang indicators na kailangan mong gamitin when you're doing your own strategy, no? Kapag scalper po, you could earn already in a matter of minutes. 10 minutes, you already earn. 10 minutes, meron ka ng profit na 500 pesos. That is a scalper. Okay? Every time I see the word scalping, boss, scalping gusto ko. Ang tanong ko, alam niya ba yung scalping? Boss, ano ba yung tamang time frame for scalping? Parang, I mean, di ba? Parang na hype lang ba siya? Di ba niya alam? So, I become very passionate to teach the person. Kaya ako, I, I stay long hours. Talagang I chat, I respond sa mga questions ninyo. Siguro napansin po niyo yun, no? kahit pagod na ako, talagang I try to respond. Kasi, na, I'm very passionate na pag ang di niya alam, kawawa naman siya. ba? So, if you're a day trader, you know, you buy and sell in hours. If you're a swing trader, you buy and sell in weeks. Weeks yon. Pag position trader, kunyari, meron ako nakausap kanina, nasa bar ko siya. Sabi niya, boss, position trader po ako. O sabi ko, wow, very good. Ha? Bakit niya alam yun? Kasi boss, uh, I'm gonna be there month lang. Eh. Every month ko lang checkin yung position ko, no? So I'm not always gonna be checking my positions, no? And investor, years yan, parang si Warren Buffett. So if you're a scalper, you're very aggressive. Tignan, tignan nyo muna to. Ilalabas natin to. If you're a, if you're a scalper, Okay. Kailang ha. Okay. Laki natin ito. Alright. If you're a scalper, you're very aggressive and your frequency of trade is sobrang dami. If you're a day trader, your, your, frequ your aggressiveness mellows down. Your frequency of trades mellows down. Pababa na pababa na pababa na pababa na pababa. Right? That is how you look and determine your strategy. Am I going to be over trading and do scalping? Lagi ba ako nakabantay? Do I have time? Then if you have time, then you're a scalper. If you're only doing this as a passive income, then you're not a scalper. Right? You are a position trader. Right? So kailangan, alam mo, are you a scalper? Are you a day trader? Are you a swing trader? Are you a position trader? Pag di mo alam yan, just ask me. But if you ask me a question, boss, Coach Miranda, ano ba scalping? Okay ba ang scalping? Are you aggressive? Do you have time to trade? Because ang scalping, ang gamit mo na indicators, okay, I will not I will not discuss this today. Meron po tayong video on that. Ano yung Halmachi Negative 100 strategy? Ano yung RSI and MACD strategy? Ano yung price action strategy? You could use all of that to become an effective scalper or a day trader. Okay? And if you wanted to use position trading, then use BB50 as your minimum indicator. Okay? So more to come on that po, no? Alright. Didiscuss ko na ng, ma ng malalim at mabilis lang to. Ano ba ang short-term trader, no? Ito yung mga taong, they look for quick profits, the manner of minutes, seconds, or hours. Okay? Minutes, seconds, or hours. He doesn't care about fundamentals. All he care about is price, action, and momentum. Okay? Uh, ang strategy ng short-term trader, kailangan magaling ka sa mga pagsakay sa mga rising stocks or crypto. Kailangan doon ka sa mga high trade volumes. Large possession and resistance moving average. The demo natin today ang ganito yan, no? If you wanted to be a short-term trader or a scalper, tuturo ko sa inyo mabilis lang, okay? So you need to go to Binance, okay? Then what you need to make sure that ang inyong tinitrade is within the top 5 um, coins, okay? Turo ko muna mabilis. Okay? Punta kayo sa um, spot market. 
Punta tayo sa, B, uh, sa BTC market. Do we click on 24-hour volume pataas? Itong nakikita nyo lima, uh, kasama si Matic, these are the top five um, that you could consider as a scalping coin. Right? Kasi meron siyang volume. Okay? Meron siyang volume. Hindi kayo maiipit sa slippage. Alright? May slippage sa tayong tinatawag, right? So, for example, we go with XRP. Alright? Let's go on trade. Let's go on classic. Okay? Let's go on XRP. USDT. Okay? And then, let's go on charting. Right? Uh, XRP. USDT. Okay? And then here, uh, because uh, meron akong ginawang video how to use uh, uh, Binance, no? On, in terms of charting. Uh, I will also use another way to chart. Tinuro... Uh, ituturo ko rin sa separately. Go to investagrams.com. Gawa kayo ng account dyan. Pag nakagawa na kayo ng account, punta kayo sa chart. You could also do, you could also see the same, no? Same chart lang yan. It's all powered by trading view. Okay? So, let's say, let's look for XRP. Okay, XRP yan. Then here, we also have XRP. Trading view. Okay. Puta tayo sa one, sa, sa three minutes. Scalping tayo, di ba? Scalping yan. Yan. Scalping. Kailangan naka three minutes, di ba? And then sa strategy natin, we will use the Alma CCI. Scalp Master. Okay. Sabi natin, pasok tayo sa negative 100. Naka one minute ako guys, ha? Naka one minute tayo, ha? One minute niya is point one point fifty five something. Yan, tumaas na ang ganda oh. Effective talaga ng alma na to. Look at that to, guys oh. Boom. Oh. Negative 100 lang mag cross over na si yellow to ano. Oh. ba? Yellow si uh, Emma to alma na cross over. Na cross over dito. Cross over. ba? Oh, dito yung in Negative 100 mo. Look at the stock, man. Oh. Limilipad siya. Pero, nakita ninyo, in a manner of, minutes lang yan. Ang date range natin, from here to here, this is only 7 minutes. 7 minutes, oh. And then, from here, date range, pumalo, from here to here, this is 2 minutes. Pero yung stock mo, ba? insert, uh, mag -date, uh, price range tayo, from here, pumalo siya dyan, to here, it's already 0.18%. Right? Pwede pang tumaas yan. Right? So when you scalp, right, you have an ability to trade ng mabilis. Entry and exit. ba? Pasok dito, benta. Benta, kunyari, ang gusto mong pasukan, o oh, kailangan ng entry point natin, um, 100, uh, kailangan nasa point, uh, 1.55, for example. Diba? Then that, that's gonna be how you will enter your order. Eh, eh, ganun siya kabilis dapat. When you are a scalper, yan. When you're a scalper, kailangan naka, meron kang strategy that you could use to earn. Talagang sure, sure buy. Sure sell, no? Yan, no? Another way to look at it. Okay? Yan, no? Here. Tingnan natin. Humalik siya sa negative 100, diba? And then here, Umalik siya pataas. Sinundan pa nito. Diba? Look at what happened to the price. Look at what happened to the price. From here to there, oh, ilang percent yan? Diba? Date range from here to here, this is only 23 minutes. And then from price range from here to here, this is, only, this is already 2.05%. Na in 23 minutes. Right? So let's say dito yung price mo. Right? Dito galing. So let's say ang price nito is 1.53. Right? Galing sa 1.52. Mag-1.53 
magpipresyo ka na ng stop limit. Spot, stop limit, buy, 1.53, limit, 1.53, XRP, 50%, then buy. Right? Tapos, antay ka na ng ano, pag na-execute na yan, lalabas na yan sa baba, di ba? And then, execute ka na ng order, mag-execute na siya, lalabas na yan sa available orders mo. And then, pag na-hit na yung, let's say, andito ka na, right? Andito ka na sa baba. Tapos, uh, sabi ni, ang sabi ni CCI, you need to be able to, you need to be able to, uh, kailangan lumagpas, tumagos pa taas yung CCI negative 100 pa taas. Right? Tum tumaas pa siya ng tumaas. Right? Eh sabi mo, ay nako, mag, mag ano na ako, mag take profit na ako sa 1%, okay na ako sa 1%. So yung 1%, let's say, is uh, uh, 1.54. Okay? 1.54. Diba? So, magsa-stop limit ka na. Stop sell limit, 1.54. 1.54, magkano yung binili mo kanina, then sell. Mag-aabang na ng order, tenga yan. It will execute itself. Right? So, that is an example of how do you scalp. Dapat ganun ka kabilis. That's how you need to be very fast in terms of your scalping strategy. ba? So, next, okay, here, how do you now go with uh, day trading and swing trading? No? Ano ba yung day trading and swing trading natin? RSI and MACD, two secrets revealed, right? Meron tayong video na ginawa for that. Right? Price action. So for example, you wanted to do day trading within the day, no? So itong ginawa natin, I will show to you my own my own strategy. Because nag-day trade po tayo. Okay. You will notice that in my trade history... Okay, we will go to our, to our order history. Okay, yan. You will notice that ako nagbabay and sell ako, no? Uh, nakita ninyo na in April 30, lakihan natin. In April 30, ito, bumili ako ng 1.36 yung price ng XRP. And then, nabili ko siya ng ganung price. Nakita nyo, April 30, alas 3 ng umaga. Chinart ko na yan. Sabi ko, ah, tataas pa to. Right? Tataas pa yan. Chinart ko na yan eh. So, uh, meron akong video on how did I chart that, no? Um, ito yan. So, nakita natin yung part na yan. Let's go with XRP. Let's go with 1 hour. Ayan. That was April 30. No? April 30 yan. Tanggalin natin itong indicators natin. Ayan. Ayan. So, nakita ninyo, sabi ko nung, nung una, ah, bakit ako, bakit ako bumili sa one point, um, why did I buy sa, sa price na yun? No? Why did I buy sa 1.36? Day trading eh. Diba? Patak bumili dyan. Diba? So, nagplot ako. I went to uh, create my own charting. Sabi ko, ah, this is a cup and handle. And then, I will do the handle. And then, nagpasok ako sa 1.36, 1.37 na range. Here ng April 30. Ayan. Andiyan siya. Diba? Andiyan dyan siya eh. Right? So, sabi ko, you know what? I need to enter here. Right? Bakit? Because alam ko mag-breakout yan, no? Although malayo pa siya sa breakout. Alam pong, alam ginawa ko po bilang day trader bukod dyan. And you need to know this. Punta kayo sa Google. Make sure you know Google, you know Google. And then you type on the type the name of the coin. Okay? And then you need to type news. Okay? During that time 
Okay? Okay, during that time, naka-news, ang hot topic was, they're going to be, they will be doing an IPO. Okay, IPO yan. They will do an IPO. Sabi ko, wow. You know, one day ago, IPO. Ako, marami maha-hype nito. Eh di, pumasok po tayo ng order ng around 269 USDT. And then after, nag-set tayo ng, uh, ng, ng order na 1.44. Right? Ayan po, kumita tayo ng malaki dyan in almost hours. Pagising natin. Right? That's a day trader. Right? When you do day trading, dapat alam mo na you, you need to have price action strategy, the head and shoulders cup and handle. Right? You need to know RSI and MACD. And then you need to have the understanding na it's on hours. Hours trading so you need to do day trading. And position trading, yeah. so let, let's, let's move on. Yan, swing trading is almost the same. Yun naman, kailangan weekly ka, no? And you're interested as well, sabi ko yung fundamentals. Diba? You're, you're, you're into fundamentals, swing and day traders. Right? Because you wanted to know ano yung mga potential, uh, potential uh, drivers na pwedeng mag-impact sa price na nasa news. Okay? Okay. So, when you go on uh, swing trading, you need to know the fundamentals and the technicals. Fundamentals, news yan. Go to the Google page, right? And make sure that you are uh, able to Read the news on your particular coin, di ba? Alright, ang, ang strategy na yan, <coughs> ang strategy na yan is, kailangan pag swing trader ka, you need to look for major swings, dips, and pull, pullbacks. Position sizing is critical. Importante yan. So, you saw in my, you saw in my, ano, you saw in my page, bakit, bakit $269 lang yung in-execute ko? And dami-dami ko namang pera. Di ba? I have so many money, well, maliit lang po, pero, pero hindi po siya lahat. Hindi, why don't I do, na, why don't I do 100% of my wallet? Why don't I do that? Why don't I, you know, why don't I, uh, why don't I put, you know, the entire 74,000 pesos sa isang, sa isang, uh, sa isang trade? Eh, kikita naman ako. ba? But hindi po ganun. Because I do position sizing. Rule of three. Rule of three. Meron akong three coins sa spot, meron akong different coins sa futures, and so on and so forth. Di ba po? So, when you, when, you, when you do your position sizing, didiscuss natin yan on the third module, important yan, no? And you need to make sure you have your support and resistance and channel breakouts. Di ba? Nakatan nyo kanina dun sa ating plotting. Yan, I do my resistance. I do my resistance plotting. I do my channel breakout, yung handle. I do that. Pagkalagpas na pagkalagpas ng 1.40, sabi ko, nako, lilipad pa taas to. Ayan, no? Nabasag niya yung 1.40. Ano pong nangyari sa price? Di ba po? Ano pong nangyari sa price? Sino mga kumita dyan? Say hello. Say hi sa ano? Sa chat room. Sino mga kumita dyan sa ating, uh, sorry, sa ating uh, uh, XRP? Sino mga kumita dyan? Ayan, no? From here, to here, to here, to here. Wow, oh. Wow. Diba? Hello, hello sa mga kumita ng, uh, na, ng malaki dyan sa, sa XRP na yan, no? And yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a breakout, diba? That's what you call a breakout sa channel, no? And then, let's go on. Uh, ano ba yung risk, no? Pag wala kang nilagay na take profit and, and, and stop loss, kawawa ka. Kawawa ka dyan. Diba? So, wala kang take profit and stop loss. Ano bang ginawa natin? Ba't ako kumita? Diba? Kasi meron akong stop order entry. Diba? Meron akong stop order entry. Ayan. So, let's go on. Ah, dapat po lagi XR, XRP USDT. Yan. Ah, hindi sinabayan. Sayang. Sayang, sayang, Sir Noah. Naku. Alright. So, Balik tayo doon. Oh, one from 1.3. Wow. Good job. 
Balik tayo dun kanina, di ba? So, bakit ako nakapag-execute? Kasi meron akong ano, sell order na entry. Di ba? Nakabenta na siya eh. Di ba? So, nakabenta na ako sa sa lahat-lahat, no? Uh, na na in-enter ko kanina. So, let's go XRP again. Ayan, no? 1.44 because naka-execute ako ng stop loss or take profit na enter entry, no? Sa futures din po, when you go on derivatives, when you go on futures, uh, pag hindi pa kayo sanay sa futures, huwag niyo munang itindi yung sinasabi ko. Pero doon sa may mga alam na, uh, iba po ang futures sa spot, no? And every time that you will enter futures, uh, makakakita po kayo ng different types of prices, hindi lang sa isang price. That's why it's called derivative, no? The asset value derives its value from an underlying asset. That's by definition. So you will see here, may take profit, yan na take profit, stop loss. Meron kang it, it's a set. Kaya po, sobrang profitable ang futures trading. Kasi kahit po matulog ka, basta mataas lang yung stop loss mo, hindi aabutin yung liquidation price. Safe ka na po. Safe ka na po dyan. Yun lang po, gagaw, yun lang po yung uh, karaniwan na ginagawa ng mga, ng mga gustong kumita agad, no? Uh, in terms of uh, futures trading. Meron tinatawag na take profit is so nasa, nasa right natin, take profit and stop loss. So, kailangan may ganun kang ano, may, dapat may ganun kang uh, plotting. You need to have your take profit and stop loss orders. Okay? And price may change because of news, may not maximize minor dips, pero pa siya mamaba, but since you already have your take profit and stop loss, nakaset ka na, no? And may hit, may hit stop loss on down market. So, yun ang mga risk ng swing swing trader Position trader by definition sila yung mga taong they don't care of technicals alam nila fundamentals lang Ang gagawin lang po ng mga position traders they will just go to coinsmarketcap.com They will just go there antayin po natin Hmm, ako, nalusaw daw si Jerome. Ako, nahuli si Clyde. Sayang. Alright. Hey, Clyde. Hello. Ayan. Open muna tayo ng quote ng, ng crypto coin. Para, if you're a position trader, you know how to do this. Okay. Ganito ang paggamit ng crypto coin market cap. No? So, first and foremost, open nyo muna yung page. Okay. Let everything open. Itong search screen sa taas, yung pinaka-right, you will see this search screen. You will enter the coin name. So for example, gusto mo makita NFT Art. NFT Art. Ayan, Art Finance. Kita mo yan. For example lang. Alright. So, make sure na check mo yung white paper. Dapat may laman yan. Kung wala pa, then you need to wait. Make sure may laman na yan. Because white papers are the, bait, the benchmarking uh, studies na ginawa ng developers. Uh, on how to, uh, ano ba yung uh, ways to earn, ways to profit, uh, uh, market dilution strategy, how do they distribute, are they going to burn the, the, the token, ano yung strategies nila in terms of the NFT art. No? And look at that price, negative 21.5. Sok mo yan, sobrang na-hype ka dyan sa NFT art, nakabili ka sa tuktok, let's say dito sa pinakataas na to. Tapos ito na yung price niya ngayon, edi eh, natalo ka na. Right? Natalo ka na. No? So, you need to know, you need to look for an, uh, coins market cap. Example lang yung NFT art. No? But forget about NFT art for now. Para malaman mo, what are the investable coins? Balik ka dun sa tinuro ko sa inyo last week. Ano ba ang three, ano ba yung four major blockchains? One, chain. number two, Ethereum blockchain. Number three, Binance smart chain. Okay? And uh, number four, hindi ko natuturo yon. Pero yung top three, meron silang kanya-kanyang major currency. Parang sa Pilipinas, meron kang major currency, no? Pesos. In the US, it's US dollars. Yung mga blockchain na yan, meron silang tinatawag na major currency. Okay? Pag BTC blockchain, they use the BTC coin. Kapag Binance block a smart chain, it is the BNB coin. Kapag Ethereum blockchain, it's the Ether or Ethereum ETH, not the ETC or Ethereum Classic. Itong tatlong to, these are the major currencies na ginagamit ngayon in the entire network. Okay? 
Yung XRP, uh, iba yan, Tether, stable coin yan, Doge, another coin. For you to know, investable ba yung coin, you need to make sure na your coins are within the top three. Okay? Of course, you will invest on a coin na alam mong ginagamit ng halos karamihan. Right? So that's the purpose of coins market cap. Of course, you could manage if it's last seven days, right? Last 24 hours. Then you could put filters here. Ano ba gusto mo? Do you want to have another filter? Volume, price change, circulating supply. You wanted to filter based on kailangan 100 million to 1 billion. Yan, add natin yan. Show results. Ito yung mga pinaka mo highly traded. Oh, yan, mga yan. Oh. Right? That's how you look at the investment material. Huwag kang mag invest dun sa mga wala pang white paper. Kasi bukas pa ka masunog na, i-burn nila yung coin mo. Right? So, you need to make sure that your coins market cap is your friend. Okay? Let's move on. Uh, that's a position trader, no? You need to make sure that uh, you go on a set and forget mode. But you will monitor your stock or your coins periodically. You enter in a very wide stop loss and you do not care about wide swings. You normally look for trend reversals and mean reversions. Ang ginagamit ko laging for position trading is BB50. Why? Let's trade it real quick, no? Okay, let's go BB50. Okay. So because ang BB50, sobrang ganda niya at laging dun lang nagbabounce yung price ng stock. So sobrang ganda niya. So very reliable si BB50. So kung ako, mag enter ako, hahanaatayin ko muna siyang ihag niya yung price. It hugs the price. Or antayin ko na bumaba konti, pag angat ulit, pag salo ng ilalim, for example, ganito. Yan o, nakita niyo yung hugging ng price na yan. Pag salo, pag baba, pag salo, pasok. Right? Another example, let's say, let's go on doge. Ayan o. Di ba hinahug niya yung price ni doge? <coughs> yan. Ang magandang pasok lagi sa BB50 if you're a position trader, sabi ko di ba ang position trader months di ba in terms of months, ang magandang pasok sa, sa ano sa 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 doge or sa BB50 is kapag umilalim siya sa BB50 line sa low pataas before pa siya umakyat. Yung lagi ang pamantayan mo because they they will always bounce on that line. Ayan no, pag sa low, diba, sa low, ang ato, so papasok ka, pag ganyan, BB50, of course, kunwari galing ka dito, let's say galing ka sa, dito, sa part na to, nag-invest ka dyan, tapos naiwan ka, right, naiwan ka, nandi dito na yung price, boss, is it good to enter, doge, Wag muna. Wag muna. So, dapat merong, antayin mo muna siya bumaba. Go down. Pag nabutas niya yung BB50, antayin mo tumaas ulit yan. Pag hinalikan niya na to, sure ball tataas yan. Right? That's a breakout of BB50. Right? So, that's how you use the BB50 strategy. Okay? Alright, so let's move on. Alright, ang strategy ng position trading, you buy on dip, right? You go on breakouts and bottom position sizing is critical. You do cost averaging. I will not teach that for now. Research on fundamental support and resistance. Kailangan alam mo yan. And then you need to make sure na alam mo itong strategy na BB50. Okay? Alright, let's move on. 
All right, mabilis na lang to. We only have few more slides. All right. Psychology of the market, no? So, ito yung sinasabi natin. Ano ba yung sinasabing FOMO? Ano ba yung mga sinasabing social proof? Ano ba yung authority? Ano ba yung inertia, no? So, iba-ibang classing words yan, no? That you need to learn. Unahin natin yung tinatawag na stereotyping. Okay? Ito yung bias na sinasabi wherein, for example, San Miguel or let's say BTC is a good company Therefore, all of the companies owned by BTC or all coins within the Ether network are good coins to invest. That's not true. Right? Do not, uh, you know, do not uh, stereotype the stocks. Right? You need to make sure that, uh, you know, sa inyo kanina, yes, position sizing, di ba? Position sizing. Read the read coin market cap. Meron kayong tatlong best stocks doon. Pero hindi ko sinabi sa inyo, pasok agad. Diba? Ang sabi ko sa inyo, pasok on the right time. Diba? Because, not because that a stock is really strong or a coin is really strong, then it's good already for, for what? It's already good for investment. Right? So let's make sure that stereotyping is not, is not uh, something that you have, no? Another one is overconfidence, no? Hindi laging, kunyari, sobrang galing mo na, right? My God, 100% win rate. Hindi ka na nagpaplano ng strategy mo. You become overconfident. Ang tawag dyan, super mutant, superman syndrome. Okay? Huwag kayong magsusuperman syndrome. Bawal yun. You always need to plan your trade and you need to trade your plan. Okay? You become very overconfident. Sabi ko kanina, Market does not care for you. Another one, anchoring. Ito yung mga shout-out sa mga doggy lovers dito, sa mga XRP lovers. Guys, you should not fall in love with your stock. Okay? Do not fall in love with your crypto coin. Because you are a doggy lover, kahit matalo ka na, doggy lover ka pa din. Right? Kahit matalo ka na, XRP lover ka pa din. Huwag ganun, bawal yon. You should not do that. No? Do not, pag si, pag si Doge, sobrang ganda, pag bumagsak na, huwag mo nang hayaan bumagsak sa pinakamalalim, mag-cut loss ka na. Use your money and repurpose it somewhere. Okay? Again, do not fall in love with your crypto coin. Okay? Loss aversion is a market psychology kung saan ito yung mga tao na they continue to hold ang iniisip nila magre-recover pa to. Bahala na. Magre-recover pa yan. Sige na, okay lang yan. Recover pa, yaan mo na siya. Eh, nagkamali ka sa trade mo. Nagamit mo CCI 15, hindi CCI 100. Nagamit mo BB 20, hindi BB 50. Mali, naipit ka. Diba? Alright? Another one, FOMO. Right? Sabi ko kanina, naiwan ka na Andi dito yung price sa baba, biglang bumulusok yung doge ng 0.49. Sasabihin mo sa akin, coach, okay pa ba mag-enter? <laughs> Di ba? Okay pa ba mag-enter ng stock? Di ba? That's another example. Okay? No? So that's the fear of missing out. That's a market psychology. And more, uh, cutting regrets, no? Um, you have a feeling na, oh my God, this is a wrong decision. Kung ginawa ko lang talagang mag-invest sa doge na to, nakakainis. I could have, kung dinownload ko lang talaga si Twitter dahil kay Elon Musk, oh no, kailangan. I should have done this. Don't, don't, wag niyong hayaang kainin kayo ng cutting regrets because your confidence naman will lose. You will lose your confidence. You will let go. Iiwanan niyo ang crypto. Right? At kung nagsunugan kayo ng pera, hindi pa huli ang lahat. I'm here to teach you. I'm here to let you realize now there's always, you know, second chance to learn, to earn. No? So you need to make sure that ano ba yung mga kailangan gawin? Alright? Unang-una, for you to be successful, you need to have a discipline. Okay? Gumawa ako ng calculator. May video tayo para dyan. Isusulat nyo din sa calculator ninyo kung ano yung mga lessons learned ninyo. You need to make sure you have that. And kailangan, but pag nag-trade ka ng iyong trade, isusulat mo doon and you will need to tell yourself ano ba yung natutunan ko sa trade na to ba't ako natalo? Kunwari, 
itong trade na to natalo ko ng 10,000 pesos, isulat mo dun sa trade mo, sa trading journal mo, natalo ko ng 10,000 pesos dahil na-hype ako ni boyfriend na sinabi sa akin sa Facebook na magpasok daw ako sa doge na hindi ko naman alam ang gagawin ko. You need to learn, you need to write that, you need to reflect. Totoo po ito, hindi po ito laro lang. Kailangan talaga seryosohin mo itong chart, itong journaling or uh, uh, you know, journaling, correct? Or calculating your, your profits, no? Another one that you need to do, you need to take responsibility. You need to be like a man, no? Don't give excuses, natalo ka. Sisisihin mo na si coach, di ba? Again, hindi lahat ng nag-work sa kanya, mag-work sa'yo. You need to be, uh, you need to know yourself. Right? And then, lastly, ano ba yung binibigay sa atin nung bata tayo that we look forward to? Di ba award yon? The most industrious child. Ganon din po dapat tayo, you know? We really need to have, we really need to have um, that level of of uh, discipline and rigor and appetite that you need to research, no? Ako naman, you know, I started with this, uh, hindi, ko, hindi naman ako master ng cryptocurrency, eh. Galing ako sa stock market, eh. Galing ako sa PSEI, eh. Di ba? Nung mga panahon ko, ang iniinvestan ko pa, yung mga IPO nila to go, di ba? Yung mga unang-una mga IPO pa. Yung mga sinauna, no? Yung mga nag-change lang ng pangalan, Napasukan ko na yan, nag-FOO. Ay, mga ganyan alam ko. Pero all of us starts from nothing. But anong ginawa ko? I learned. Nag-aral talaga ako and I need to go and I have a mentor. No? Nagturo sa akin. Pag wala ka pang mentor, you need to have a mentor. And you need to have a trading community. Mahalaga yon Kasi pag ang community mo sa Facebook lang at naka-hype ka lang, you're in the wrong uh, you're in the wrong community. Kailangan yung community mo sina challenge kanya. Dapat your community should be challenging you. You need to develop yourself. Dapat binibigyan ka na ng information for you to learn. Hindi lang hype. Marami nag hype na yon. Maraming gusto mag magport snapping just because they wanted they wanted people to praise or they just wanted people to get hype of the coin. That's not the right thing to do. Kailangan you should be responsible on the on, on learning, no? And you need to be in the masipag ka dapat sa pag-aalam ng pinapasok mo, research, di ba? etc etc and of course power of consistency is key to success and sabi ko nga wealth is like a seawater the more we drink the thirstier we become and the same is true for fame all right so iiwanan ko diyan yung topic natin for today ang next topic natin next time is how to manage your risk no risk management Kailangan matutunan nyo din yan. You know, you need to do, you need to learn how to trade using paper trading. You need to learn, uh, do not trade for the sake of trading. Trade only when there's a high probability of success. Blah, 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 blah. Right? Another thing that you need to know, no? Bilang, bilang student ng, ng market, marami tayong pwedeng uh, alamin, no? Na, na knowledge available in the market. I'm, I'm telling you, you know, we, ako, I learned a lot from research. Like, uh, 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 sabi ko kanina, si, si Money Growers. Ayan, si, uh, si Capitan Kidlat, si Spy Frat. They have, they have all different philosophies in trading that we can learn and we can adapt. Right? And whatever, work, whatever works for us. Some of, the, some of the lessons like the BB50 is a Spy Frat strategy. Right? So, so credits to him. Right? So, yung mga ganong... Ganyang opportunities, you need to learn, right? And then absorb, no? have a mentor, right? And then as I've said, uh, risk, risk management tayo on week number three. Ituturo natin ano ba yung tinatawag na position sizing? Ano ba yung tinatawag natin uh, value at risk? Ano yung rule of three natin, no? You need to know that, right? Para protected ka. Ano ba yung tinatawag natin investment on spot? Sa futures, sa earn, sa liquidity pool? How can I diversify my... Binance investment. Hindi lang pwede puro sa spot. Okay? And that's gonna be our third topic. And after that, we will now go on tools of the trade and then we will be teaching you deep dive on technical analysis, etc. 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 So, iiwan ko sa inyo yung ating ating uh, kasabihan and I hope you guys learn on this no, that wealth is like a seawater. Ulitin ko yan. 
Wealth is like a seawater. The more we drink, the thirstier we become. And the same is true for fame. No? You need to, you need to, to do that. And another kasabihan... Before ako umalis at before natin pumunta sa live charting, very, very important to. Ba't ko ba ginagawa ito ngayon sa inyo? Ito po ang aking kasabihan para sa inyo. Okay, this is my personal philosophy. Okay? Sabi dito, if you want to build a ship, don't, don't drum up the man to gather woods. Divide the work and give the orders. Do not do that. Instead, teach them to yearn for the vast and endless sea. So, ang ginagawa ko po today is I'm not giving you orders. I'm not giving you to, I'm, I'm not telling you how to gather wood. I'm not telling you to, you know, to how to cut the wood. Hindi lang yun. Ang pinapakita ko sa inyo today is you need to yearn for the vast and endless sea. That is your future. Right? That is your future. It's a very, very good opportunity to become very liquid by means of trading. Totoo po yun, you could replace your income using trading. But only if you try to learn what I teach you and look at the end of what I'm trying to teach you. Okay? With that said, guys, thank you very much for the time. I hope you learned something from me today. And uh, again, please don't forget to click subscribe to my channel. And please share na rin po sa inyo mga loved ones. Mag-break lang po tayo sandali. And um, um, we will go back after 5 minutes for our live charting. If you're here to do and learn live charting, stay in, stay uh, tuned lang po kayo. We will go back uh, on our um, uh, next 5 minutes. Thank you! Yan, mag-greetings portion muna tayo. <laughs> Habang nag-break for 5 minutes. Okay. Miss Yell, thank you so much din po. Everyday Life of Alejandro, thank you so much. Active ka din sa Discord. Thanks for being here. Um, AdSense, thank you po. Ah, Adver okay, thank you. And then, Richelle Naive, thank you. Thank you din po. Shaira Torrio, thank you, thank you. Bernard Ortiz, thank you, thank you so much. Romulo Bartolome, welcome again, sir, thank you so much. CGJRTV, thank you, thank you so much then. Discord link sent natin dito, wait lang. We will share... Okay, share natin. Discord link. <laughs> Ayan, pa-join na lang dyan, please. Welcome na lang kay Coach Miranda Miner. We will take care of you. Gawa ka po ng video about scalping pero two markets ang tinatayaan. XRP down, XRP up. Okay. Ah, okay. Okay, got it. Sige. All right. Uh, calculator, sige po, I will, I will give it to you later. 
Zachney Gameplay watching from Shargao. Thank you. Welcome. Wow, from Shargao. Thank you for watching. Uh, AV, thanks. You, thank you. Uh, Rama Rances. Okay, Joe, Papa. Okay. Uh, I really want to acquire at least one BNB for now. But nag-hesitate ako dahil na FOMO lang ako. But there's always this feeling na baka pagsisigan ko na naman na iwan ako just like ETH. Ah, I see, I see. Okay. Ah, uh, I see. All right. Hindi pa nakapasok sa mga dang entry kanina. 10 in the morning. See, everyday life. Iba, ka ba, iba pala pag weekend. First time mo experience parang hindi masyadong active ang market. Oh, yeah. Okay. Correct. Ah, totoo yun. Artemio Peniero. I thought 7 p.m. Nako. <laughs> Pasensya na po. Okay. Sclide, thank you. Hello. Jerome Diego, nalusaw daw today ang XRP niya nako. Clyde Loreto, nahuli. Okay. Uh, Rama Rancy is from 1.3. Hindi daw nasabayan ni Noah. Okay. Francis, boss, thank you for this. You're welcome. Ryan Modiquillo, sobrang laking tulong. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Algene Manzano, yes sir. I-type nyo rin sa baba kung nasan kayo para mabati ko kayo. Are you from Dubai? Are you from the Philippines? Welcome, welcome. Yo, cyberpunk. Nangyayari talaga yun. Mixed emotion. Correct. Hanima Kasim. Agree, coach. First attempt ko, 60,000 XRP noong December 2020. Wow! Sana all. Very good, very good. Uh, Jemar Alcomendras. Yes, coach. Okay, nag agree sila kanina. Okay. All right. Hirap mag-scalping kapag PCP ang gamit. Totoo yan. Totoo yan. You guys could look, wait for my video. mag upload tayo using your cell phone. Wanderlust from Pasig. I'm from Pasig from, from Mangahan din. So welcome sa mga taga-Pasig. Coronadal. Wow! Ang layo. Fairview. Ah, Fairview lang. Ang Fairview parang bulakan na din yan, di ba? Si Maan Reyes from San Pablo, Laguna. Jason, thank you then. Of course, thank you so much. <clears throat> okay, I think uh, we're ready. Okay, hold on. Okay, so pakisend na lang po sa baba na yung mga gusto ninyong i-chart natin sa live charting session. Oh wow, from Oman, DJ Tarzan. Wow, hello po sa mga taga Oman. Ingat po kayo dyan. Ingat-ingat po kayo. MJ, taga San Mateo Rizal, ingat po kayo dyan. Tama, karugtong na ng Eds. <laughs> Alright. Okay, let's go. A first one that came in is Dent. no? So let's go with Dent. Okay, let's go on. Okay, then let's go with four hours. Ayan, kaka-start pa lang niya. Oh. Ayan, four hours. Let us put... Okay. Let's try to change RSI 30. We're good. Lagyan natin ng MACD. Okay. 
Okay? I-change natin yung MACD profile style into Okay. All right. So, ang sabi natin, MACD. So, then, what we will do now is, all right. So, baba natin si then, four hours, uh, RSI is, ang RSI natin is 53. Ang uh, MACD natin, uh, Pag short term, ingat sa dent kasi pababa na yung green, no? Um, ingat sa dent. So, we need to make sure nakababa na yung white line. The white line is the MACD line. Antayin niyo na pag pumasok kayo sa dent, antayin niyo na yung white line, which is your MACD line, okay? Ginawa kong white yung MACD, ha? Yung white line umangat pataas before kayo pumasok. Before, kailangan tagusan niya itong kulay green line na to. Okay, that's one, that's one play. And then, we'll, we'll go on um, charting. Parang may tinatawag na cup and handle din to, ah. Vertical... So, pag dent, um, okay, pag dent, pwede kayong pumasok sa, uh, ang hard resistance ninyo would be this first one. Okay. Ang indicator number one ninyo, okay, pag short-term trader, pag short-term trader, you notice I did not put volume, no? Pag short-term trader kayo, dapat yung white line, MACD line, mag-cross over pataas. Bakit? Um, sample lang natin. Uh, by rule, si MACD line should be crossing over pataas, no? for it to be um for it to be uh, uh signaling that it should go up already no wala akong nakikitang issue sa R RSI so magpa price action tayo ang price action natin pag wala pa kayong entry sa dent pasok kayo pag nagpas ng 0 0.013 pasok kayo sa 0 0.0136 that's another one Huwag niyo munang i-break itong nasa candle, itong uh, itong handle na to. And then another resistance you need to break is 0 0.015598. Pwede niyo gawing resistance yan. Ang gagawin niyo dyan, pag nakakita kayo ng ganyan, okay? Kunyari, nasa, nasa charting pa lang kayo, sa futures, ang gagawin niyo dyan is what you need to do is you need to go on stop limit, Okay? Uh, stop market, gawa kayo ng 1, uh, 0, 0 0.1 or 3.7 or 3, pwede 3.6, sige. And then, let's say size is 25% dent. Tapos, sorry, kailangan naka-isolated ka muna. And then, gusto kong let's say mag 20x, confirm. 0 0.136, 25% dent, 25. Ang take profit natin, let's say is Point zero one five nine eight. Stop loss is point zero. I'm just manually computing sa utak ko ha. Zero zero po. Sorry. Take profit is zero point one five nine eight. Stop loss mo sa dent. Let's say is zero point uh, one uh, three zero zero zero. Tapos you need to go buy long. Okay, buy long. 
order submitted, lalabas na yun sa order position, uh, submitted orders ko. Ayan yan, lalabas na yun dyan. You will not see liquidation price yet kasi wala pa siya sa position na wala, uh, it's not executed yet, no? So, ganun-ganun mag-order sa futures. Aabangan mo lang siya. Cancel ko muna yan. Okay? That's way, that's one way to look at it for resistance. Pwede natin lagyan ng another indicator, let's say BB. Okay? Si BB, ang gagawin nyo kay BB, gagawin nyo siyang 50 and point, 0 0.2. And then, gagawin ninyo, sorry, sorry ha, gagawin nyo, uh, what, what I'll do is, I'll make this, ano, para makita ninyo, I think malilinawan kayo pag, pag, ano, pag hindi madilim yan. Kasi, masamay kasi ako sa madilim, kasi masakit yung mata ko, sorry ha. So, linawan natin. Alright. <clears throat> Ayan. So, nakita ninyo na pwede rin ang BB50, no? Ang magandang entry for BB50, ang gagawin ninyo is, what you need to do is punta kayo sa, nakita nyo itong part na to. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, wait lang ha. Ay, sorry, lolo ko yung mouse natin. Okay, wait lang. Okay, wait lang guys, sorry. While commercial tayo, pwede bang mag-scalp depending on the percentage change? Uh, yes, you can do that, correct. Uh, Alright, uh, gawa kayo ng video how to make a plan before trade. Uh, meron na po tayo dyan, uh, meron po tayong video on how to create your charts, your, your plan. Go po for one of my videos. Halmachi po ba pwede din siya short like 100, 100 ah, pagpababa pwede. Pwede, pero Jerome, gamitin mo yung MACD line. Uh, sorry guys, nag, nagluloko yung mouse ko sa Mac. Sorry ha, hindi nag, hindi nag uh, ano eh, nagko-connect. Yan, sorry about that. Okay, wait lang. Alright, let's read muna. Uh, dent, okay, nag-dent na tayo. Uh, hello from San Mateo. Hello Joe Papa, thank you. Uh, MJRSR, coach pwede mo mag-scalp depending on, yes, pwede mag-coach depending on percentage. Uh, BNB please, sige, BNB will do that. Submit kasi nakabili po ako around 0.9, ngayon parang di naaabot, nasa 6.2 na. Ngayon okay lang ba't isell ko ng 91 units iyon. So, labas muna tayo ng futures. Sige, mabilis lang ng BNB muna tayo ha. For BNB, tanong din po kayo kung may mga tanong kayo sa comments. Okay. So BNB USDT, let's go on 4 hours. Wow, ang ganda ng BNB ah. Ah, uh, wow, all time high. Okay, all time may pag all time high, medyo maganda ang galawan ni ano ah, ni BNB. Wow. Okay. So ang price ni BNB today, naka 622 on the 4 hour candle. Sa 15 minutes candle, naka 623, no? So, kapag kayo ay nag... Okay, ang tanong, are you a... Uh, ang ganda naman ng chart na to. Ang sarap, oh. Woo! Wow! Ang sarap! Ang 
Sarap po. Wow. Wow. Pwede. Okay. So, 15 minutes. Let's go to one hour. Ang ganda po. Ng, nakikita nyo po? Pag ganito po yung takbo ng chart, ang gagawin niyo you will follow this channel. Okay? Ang gagawin niyo hahatiin nyo yan sa dalawa, which is your 50%. Okay? Um, there's a good, there's another way to do this, which is Fibonacci, but I'm not going to teach you Fibonacci. Baka mabaliw po kayo. Mamaya na po yung Fibonacci, but I'm telling you the very simplest way to do this, okay? So, naka-channel ako. Alright. One thing to do using this is, number one, um, dapat ito yung strongest resistance line mo, no? yung, sorry, strongest support mo to. Kailangan hindi mabasag tong line. Hagat, pag tinaas ko to ng tinaas, kailangan... Uh, kailangan itong uh, price na to, it should not go lower anything within this line. No? If it goes beyond this line, asahan nyo na that this, that this particular um, coin will go down. Okay? Kailangan din nyo mabasag tong line na to. Okay? You need to make sure. Alright? 600 mo nabili. Ang ganda na nabili mo. Very good. 600 mo na bili. Price range, 600. Current price, 623. Wow! 3.77%. Congratulations. Okay. So, ang pag ganyan, ang, ang gagawin mo dyan, dapat ang palatandaan mo, it should not go below this support line. Okay? Pag, pag lumabas yan dyan, it could further uh, go down the drain. Okay? Mag-sell on tranches. Okay? Pag ganyan. Uh, another way, kasi naka all-time high ka na, no? Natamaan niya na tong line na to. This one. And another all-time high here. Sorry, market resistance, not all-time high. Okay? Pinatikim ka lang niya dun. Na all-time high. Here, oh. Tumikim ka lang ng all-time high dyan. Hindi, hindi nabasag, no? So, lagyan natin ng RSI to. RSI. RSI 30. Okay, hindi pa siya parabolic play. Okay, that's good. Okay. So, ang tanong mo is, for BNB... Ano ko ba tanong sa BNB ulit na ano, hindi ko na, uh, nawala lang sa page? Anyway, sige. Kung walang tanong sa BNB, the, the best way to enter is, huwag kayong e-enter sa, sa, uh, sa ilalim ng, ng support line na to. Pwede kayong mag-abang. This is a very strong support. Ginagalang niya yung support na yan. And this is a very strong resistance. Ginagalang niya, no? So, you need to make sure that uh, you follow those support and resistance lines, no? So, kung wala pa akong entry, ang gagawin natin dyan, um, I will make sure na mag, uh, hindi siya baba, hindi siya magbaba, hindi siya tatagos dun sa support line kanina. And I will try to enter Bollinger Bands. Okay. Ang gagawin ko, uh, unang-una, I will do 50.2. Okay, yan. So, nire-respeto niya yung, uh, ano, yung uh, RSI 50. Nakikita nyo? Sobrang respeto niya sa RSI 50, oh. Right? So, most likely, itong stock na, itong crypto na to, kapag na-hit niya yung... 611 na line na price, it would bounce again pataas. Okay? Now, kapag nag, pag bumaba pa siya ng bumaba because of other factors, kunwari, itong stock na to, bumaba papunta sa pabang ganyan, okay, bumaba siya, 
ang gagawin ninyo, mag-aantay kayo ng price hanggat basagin niya to pataas, itong continuation ng BB50 na to. Kailangan mabasag na yan. Pag nabasag na yan, doon kayo mag-enter. Okay? That's how you enter BB, uh, uh, BNB USDT. Okay, next. Uh, uh, tataas ba siya? Most, most likely because based on this trend, sobrang ginagalang niya yung BB50. Ang palatandaan dyan kung tataas is kailangan mag-bounce siya sa support na BB50. Yan, kailangan magbabound siya dito. Pag hindi, nakita niyo yung price, yung candle, bumaba ng sobra, punta kayo sa 15 minutes chart. Yan. Bumaba, di ba? Umakit na naman, o. Oh. Ayan, o. Oh. Hinahag lang niya yung price. Akit, baba, akit, baba, akit, baba. So, yan, papasok ka na dyan. Pag wala ka pang BNB, pasok. Pag break out ng BB50, akit na yan. Di ba? Another way to look at it, lagyan mo ng MACD. Okay, anong rule ang MACD? Yan, perfect. Love it. Perfect to enter na si MACD, ano? You know? May bearish crossover ka na, oh. Di ba? Blue crosses the red. Di ba? And then the RSI is okay. And then, you're about to cross over BB50 line. Good entry point. Now, uh, actually, nag-enter na siya kanina. No? Okay. Uh, another, any, any more questions, guys? Alam ko nakatuto kayo sa chart nito, but any more questions? Ah, Beverly, BTT, sir, from Japan. Oh, nice uh, nice to meet you there in Japan, ha? Thank you for uh, watching our live stream. So let's go with BTT. I think torrent yata to eh, BTT. You know? Ito yung kaninang chinart namin. Very, may pagka-sideways tong chart na to eh. Ayan oh, may pagka-sideways eh. Guys, ang rule of thumb natin, kapag tayo nag, pag nakakita kayo ng sideways na chart, na pa ganyan, huwag kayong magre-rely sa MACD tsaka sa RSI. Kasi it could throw false signals. Okay? It could throw false signals. Um, ganun ang ugali ni RSI. Kapag, kasi si RSI kasi it's a momentum indicator. Momentum, ibig sabihin, yung price action niya, sobrang bilis, pababa o pataas. No? Ayun ang trabaho niya. Ang trabaho ni MACD, it's, it's to give you moving average convergence divergence. So kapag yung price mo sideways, um, hindi niya kakayanin ibigay sa iyo yung tamang signal. No? You will notice sa sa gitna lang siya. Diba? Hindi siya overbought or oversold. Diba? So, you need to make sure na Uh, you know, okay, yeah, you're right. Stochastic is also okay. Um, I will teach stochastic on a different lesson, right? Uh, for this particular purpose, kapag hina, ang, ang trabaho ni Bollinger Bands, sa so tandaan nyo ha, ang Bollinger Bands kasi, okay, ang program kasi niyan, 20, tsaka 2. Yan ang original default niyan. Ang trabaho ni Bollinger Bands, ang trabaho kasi niya, yung pinakagitna, Okay. Para sa mga uh, intestine, no? Yung gitna kasi ni Bollinger Band, itong red na to, this is also a moving average. This is your moving average. So if I type moving average 20, same lang ang bra ang, ang, ang dating niyan. Okay? So, ang trabaho ng upper limit sa lower limit, ito yung deviation. Two deviation away from the mean. Two deviation away lower from the mean. That's why it's called Bollinger Bands. Ito yung volatility ng price, no? So, kapag ang price ninyo is hindi volatile, sideways lang siya, ang gagawin ninyo is, kapag gumagamit kayo ng Bollinger Bands, kapag ang, ba, kapag ang uh, price is hinahag ng Bollinger Bands, there's a tendency for the price to break out. Okay? Tendency yon. 30 days na hinahag niya, malamang sa malamang break out yan. Okay? Another way to look at it is, kapag ang price ninyo is going up and down sa BB20 line, that's a potential entry point. Paano yon? Kapag, kapag naka-sideways, okay? Kapag naka-sideways ang chart, tanggalin ko muna si RSI, no? And MACD. Okay, para matutunan nyo. Ganito yan. Kapag naka-sideways ang chart sa BB20, 
ang pasok nyo dyan, okay, unang indicator lang to ha, dapat meron, sa, meron ka pang indicator sa ilalim. Pero using Bollinger, ang pasok mo lagi dyan, kapag yung candle mo tumagos pa baba ng pinakailalim mong limit at nag-cross over pataas, okay, at nag-cross over sa gitna or ng mean mo, there's a tendency for your stock to go higher. Okay? Why? Ito yan. Taas. Nakita ninyo? Tumaas, di ba? So, when it crosses over MA20 using the Bollinger Band and the candles are within, hinahag siya ni Bollinger, hindi siya labas-pasok sa band, it means that ginagalang niya si Bollinger 20. Okay? Tapos, papasok kayo dyan sa Bollinger sideways ni BTT kapag tinamaan ng candle yung MA20 o yung gitna ng intestine. Okay? Pa-shout out, pa-yes kung naintindihan sa comment, please, para may kausap ako. <laughs> you know, ang hirap pala na ganito pag na-live ka. No? Okay. Nakita nyo tumaas yung price, di ba? Pag, pag nabutas nyo yung MA20 ng BB, akit pa taas yan. Okay? The same thing, tandaan nyo, the same thing kapag binutas niya pa baba, binutas niya pa baba, yun, butas, boom. Okay? Pag binutas niya pa baba yung intestine, hanggang baba, tutuloy-tuloy pa baba yan. Okay? It will all go down. Ayun ang purpose ni BB20. Okay, hindi ko tinuturo yan sa inyo. Kahit sa Discord, I don't teach that. Ano bang purpose ng BB20? Ayun ang purpose niya. Ayun ang purpose ng intestine na yan. Okay? Sorry for the word kasi ginagamit ko. Kasi mukha talaga siya ng intestine. Di ba? Alright? That, that's the purpose. Okay? Of BB20. Now, uh, you don't use RSI if it's if it is a um, if it is sideways, no. So, and you also use BB50, naman. BB50 is moving average 50, pero yung deviation niya is 0 0.02. Ibig sabihin noon, ibig sabihin noon, hindi two ang deviation niya, mas maliit, 0.2. So when you use this, naman, ang gamit naman dito is kailangan crossover. Ang pasok lagi, pag bumaba na bumaba, nabutas yung BB50, huwag ka muna pumasok. Antayin mo mag-cross over pabalik pataas. Okay? Alright. Ano pa ang question nyo? Uh, Pampampangasin. Very good. XR, oh, favorite natin si XRP. Vincent Ron Centena. Alright, siguro mga last two questions tayo, no? Last two questions. Uh, para nag enjoy kayo, ah. XRP. <laughs> Luwa na tayo ng... Ang dami ko na nagawa dito. Ayan, ang dami na. Ayan. <laughs> drawings, drawings natin yan. Alright, sige, si XRP. Ano ba tanong sa XRP? Saan papasok? Okay? Sige. Alright, sige. Daanan ko yung short selling. Tapusin ko muna tong XRP. Okay, ito gawin natin. Alright, ito gawin natin. Oh. Alright. So, saan ka papasok sa XRP? Sige. Unang-una, uh, ang sabi ko sa BB50, nare-respeto niya yan. Pag nag-bounce dito, dyan ka tataya. Okay? Gawa tayo ng chart. Uh, okay. Price action. Okay? Alright. So, price action. Okay. Uh, Nahit niyo yung 1.64. Baba ba ako sa lower interval. Lalagyan ko siya ng indicator na MACD. Lalagyan ko siya ng indicator na RSI. Okay. 
Wow, ang ganda ng MACD, oh. Sana nasa lunyo to. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Oh, ganda. Oh. Ayan, oh. MACD. Oh. Diba? MACD. Di ba? Going up. So, pasok kayo dyan pag na-break nyo tong line na to. Tapos, that's one consideration, pasok sa 1.57 sa 15 minutes chart. Tapos, kailangan itong MACD line, huwag tumurong pababa. Make sure ha. Kailangan bantayin nyo, huwag tuturong pababa yan. Okay? Yan ang magandang entry point ni RSI. Tapos, magpa-price action tayo. Uh, ang pinaka-safe talaga, 1.64 eh. Yung napakatagas, ang tatag ng, uh, matatag tong uh, resistance na to. Hindi niya nabasag yung resistance na to. 1.64. So, mag-aabang kayo dyan sa order, no? Kung nag-futures kayo, abang kayo ng 1.65. Tapos, stop limit order, buy long, 1.65. Tapos, lagay nyo, lagay nyo siya ng ano, na, pwede nyo siya lagyan ng sell order na another, kasi another resistance to, double top, o, oh, yan, no? 1.73. Another resistance yan. Um... Pwede nyo siyang lagyan ng, yeah, pwede siyang lagyan ng order na abang 1.65, take profit ng 1.71, tapos ang set, ang stop limit niyo 1.55. Pwede yun. Uh, tapos, sorry, 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 1.57 ang stop limit niyo or stop loss limit, okay? Or 1.58. Alright? Yan na pwede nyo gawing order sa buy long. XRP. Pag buy short, paano, buy, paano naman ang shorting? Turo ko sa yung shorting, ganito. Do, punta kayo sa XR, punta kayo sa ano, labas kayo dito, punta kayo sa derivatives, click futures. Okay. Pag shorting kasi, you're expecting the stock to go down. ba? Diba? Mabilis lang to ha, kasi baka malito yung iba. So, ang indicators... Okay, let's go on isolated 25. Let's go on XRP. Okay. Ang indicators ninyo... Okay. Ang indicators ninyo would be MACD and put CCI. Okay. Ang rule natin sa CCI, kapag kapag tumama sa <coughs> Ang rule natin, let's go on 1 hour no. Ang rule pag nagsho-shorting is kapag ang uh, you would never short, okay? Never never short kapag ang stock merong uh, merong volume at meron siyang catalyst to go higher. Okay? You only need to short kapag merong negative news. For example, example, okay? Nakita nyo sa news na nalo sa case against XRPC Securities and Exchange Commission. Diyan kayo mag-short kasi you're expecting the stock to go down. Alright? That's when you sell short. Okay? So what you will need to do, kasi ang indicators, this is only short-term uh, selling. Okay, short-term indicators to. Para mas sure ka talaga, there should be a, a catalyst but bababa ang, ang, ang stock, no? So, one thing you need to do is, and by the way, walang pump and dump sa futures, ha? Kasi kung meron kayong tinatawag na pump and dump sa spot, sa futures, meron kang tinatawag na index price and mark price. Yung mark price, ito, uh, you go to my video sa futures, kinokontrol niya, ayan, lalakihan natin, ha? Itong mark price na to, Oops, sorry. Sobrang laki naman. Okay. Ito. Itong mark price na nakikita nyo, mark price yan. Yung mark price na yan is controlling the 
uh, fluctuation of the underlying asset of the price. Uh, uh, underlying price of the asset. Okay? Hindi ka pwedeng magmanipulate ng pump and dump sa futures. Kasi derivative uh, model yan, no? So, so what you need to do, assuming assuming nagkaroon na ng problema, let's say si XRP, alam mo, alam mo bababa, si, bababa yung price niya, no? So, another way to look at it is yung MACD line, the blue line crosses down the red line. That is the sign that the stock will go down. And the CCI uh, monitoring crosses below from 100, positive 100 to below. Okay? There's a tendency for the stock to go down. Okay? So, what you need to do is to program a particular order to sell short. No? So, for example... Ito, nag-form na siya ng uh, higher low. So. so, from here, you've noticed, no? This is a higher higher high of this. And you have a higher low here already. So, ang palatandaan mo dyan, kailangan the blue line crosses down. the Or uh, bearish. Kailangan may bearish, bearish crossover kang tinatawag, no? So, ayun ang unang-unang palatandaan. So make sure you know how to read yeah, you know how to do this this one uh, this one okay you notice na kapag merong crossover na ganyan the price goes down as well okay uh, however merong however yan okay dinawin lang natin however po yan kapag po hindi nag-follow ang price Direction at tumataas tong line na to, it is a sign of a moving average convergence divergence. Ibig sabihin, magre-reverse ang price. The price could reverse, no? Example, this one. Pag nalilito na po, sabihin lang sa akin. Yan. Diba, nag, ano, meron na yung ano, potential reversal signal. Okay? Uh, okay, another one is... Ito, go down, no? Going down. Yan. Bearish, uh, bearish crossover going down. Very good. Right? Tapos, meron namang bullish crossover. You know, bullish crossover, tumaas din yung candle. So, uh, rule number one, when you're shorting, make sure may catalyst. Rule number two, meron kayong indicators like MACD. Iwas, iwas lang sa mga convergence divergence. Tapos, pwede nyo rin gamitin si CCI crossover, negative 100 pa baba. For example, okay, for example is this one. Crossover, 100, positive, and then this one, nag, di siya sa price na yun, nag cross over, di ba? The price went down, right? It went down. No? So, ang gagawin natin dyan, for example, ang current price natin is 1.61. Okay, 1.61 here, and we wanted, we're assuming that the price will go down because of the indicator na CCI and, uh, and MACD bearish crossover, ang target mo is 1.51. Okay, you will do a stop market order. You will do a 1.51. Okay, and then 50%. Sorry, 50, uh, it's up to you, 25, whatever, yeah, 51. And then you will do isolated, let's say 30, right? And then sell short. Okay, it would go down here as an order, open order. Hindi siya ma-execute hanggat hindi niya tinatamaan yung 1.51 na order mo. Okay? Following sell shorters, you will only do shorting kapag bumaba, patung, pat, pababa, nag-bearish signal, nang walang convergence, divergence signal ha. 
Huwag niyong gagawa ng order kung merong reversal kasi tataas yan. Okay? Pag may convergence, divergence. Kailangan align yung price and then yung MACD line. Pag nag-crossover si MACD going sa signal pababa, the price will go down. Okay? Then doon do kayo mag-execute ng orders. Okay? Following? Ayan. So, we will cancel it for now. Para sa mga gustong mag-order, mag-shorting, that's the way you need to do shorting. Okay? Guys, it's already 8 o'clock, but uh, grabe, 81 attendees pa din. No? Ang dami pa rin nag-stay. Nako, talagang gustong-gusto nyo matuto. Guys, kung natuto kayo, please um, uh, please support lang para ituloy-tuloy natin ang ating charting sessions. No, We will do this every week. Siguro iniisip ko para tulungan kayo, I'll probably do another charting uh, tomorrow. Uh, pero uh, palambing lang support sa channel natin para marami tayong matulungan. Please uh, share my channel as well sa Facebook nyo or sa mga friends ninyo. Pa-like, pa-view ng mga channel, pa-subscribe para you're updated in all of our updates no, and all of our channels. Okay? Uh, very, very uh, malaking uh, pasasalamat ko if you guys could do that. And uh, you guys could help me. Marami pa kasi tayong gustong tulungan sa mga chat groups. Talagang ang very simple ng question. Pero I don't mind. no. I'd like to really help. no. And I'd like to really support them on how can they... Um, how can they uh, earn more sa industry, no? So guys, yun muna. Um, thank you for all. Uh, habol tayo ng mga questions. Uh, next na lang po, Ma'am Nida, yung CHZ. Uh, we will try, or ping me na lang, no? Ping me, I could help you sa later sa separate. And then, um, how to add BB? Punta kayo sa indicators, mabilis lang. Type nyo BB. Yan, Bollinger Bands. Lalabas yung Bollinger Band. Tapos, I-click nyo, yung, click nyo yung gear, itong nasa gitna format, lalabas itong inputs type 50 and 0.2. Okay? And then, uh, thank you po. Yes, thank you sir. Rules, thank you. Daddy A, thank you. Thank you so much. Cadby Luck, thank you. Everyday life, always there ka ha. Maraming salamat sa'yo since day one. Nandyan ka na. Thank you so much. Uh, Coach, si BB50, Pwede ba siyang scalper or mas effective si Alma and Emma? Alma and Emma. Alma and Emma. You only use BB50 kapag naka-sideways yung chart. Pag very volatile, use um, Rahal Machi strategy. Uh, ano mo masasabi ninyo sa NFT art? Ay, naku, pag nag-NFT art ka, bagsak yata si NFT art ngayon eh. Uh, ako, I will wait. Kasi meron ng NFT zone si Binance. I would rather wait... Um, sa ibang NFT tokens uh, para hindi ka na lumalabas sa pancake swap ayun kasi ang goal ni Binance they wanted to have their own uh, NFT art uh, protocols para you don't go out in any decentralized exchange anymore no uh, so just wait for that uh, okay guys maraming maraming salamat I, I owe you my night no thank you so much and uh, again uh, please support my channel po uh, I'm so happy guys no wala pa tayong uh, two weeks, two weeks pa lang, 3,000 subscribers sa tayo. So, siguro marami na tutulungan, no? And people really love our channel, no? So, thank you so much for your love and support. And guys, uh, please favor, nasan man kayo sa mundo, mag-ingat kayo. Okay, wear your mask, uh, wa wash your hands. I really love all of you. Uh, you make me really feel uh, good every day. And guys, thank you so much. And you guys take care, okay? With that said, good night everyone and enjoy your Saturday. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.